sometimes we get asked how to split up stitches. So I've cast on 32 stitches onto a double pointed needle and I'm going to use this to make socks. So now I need to split up these stitches onto two more needles to make a little triangle here uh, to get to get going with. And so I deliberately chose 32 stitches because it doesn't divide up evenly onto three needles. And so what's important for my sock pattern is not that they're divided evenly, but that each time I work my stitches, it's a multiple of four, because I'm going to begin my socks with a knit two, purl two ribbing. And knit two, purl two is a, a four stitch pattern. And every time I work that across one needle, I want to start with two knits and end with two purls. So uh, what I'm going to do then is divide my stitches so that I have 12 stitches on two needles and eight stitches on the third needle. So I'm going to uh, transfer my stitches and whether you were working on double pointed needles or uh, circular needles, doesn't matter. When we transfer stitches, we always work point to point or insert the needle as if to purl. So I'm just going to transfer 12 stitches over here. And you see I'm just inserting my needle and kind of scooping them over. And when you get brave, you can do more than one at a time. I could insert my needle tip under two stitches and pull them over. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's twelve. So I'm just going to put those stitches in the middle of my needle and pick up my next needle and do 12 more. Okay, and push those into the middle of my needle and hopefully here, two, four, six, eight, I have eight stitches left. So that's how you would split up stitches on your needles. And now to get started in the round, I'll show you another, you know, it's not a trick, it's just how I get going. So uh, to get started in the round on double pointed needles, I'll just make sure that all my stitches are in the middle. We want to make sure that this cast on edge is pointing towards the center so that it's not wrapped around the needle and getting twisted. But I don't actually worry about that. I'm just going to say to myself, well, if I'm going to work with this yarn, I want to make it into a circle. I need to start on the stitch that is not attached to the ball. See, here I have just a tail. Uh, that's the yarn I'm going to begin with. So I'm going to push this stitch up to the edge of the needle. I'm going to take my other DPN and I'm going to park it in that first stitch. And notice I'm not holding on to the rest of the needles. They're just dangling here. Now I'm going to find the tail end of my yarn that's attached to the ball. And I'm going to use it to wrap the yarn around and knit this first stitch. And you see when I do that, everything just kind of automatically lines up the way that it should. So you don't have to worry too much. I'm going to just tuck that tail out of the way here. I'm going to knit my next stitch. And then I'm going to purl two stitches. So getting joined in the round, just to recap, I cast all my stitches. I find the stitch that I began with and I put that towards the pointy end of the needle and I find uh, my empty needle and I put it into that stitch and then I find the yarn that's attached to the ball and I knit that stitch into place. Okay, hold on here. I've got one more little piece of advice for you. If you're working across the first round and you find that you do have a twist in your needles, you can still fix it. Okay, I got one more needle to go here. All right, so as you near the end there, you go right to the end of the round and you have a look at your stitches.
And now you've got a little more knitting, so you can you can see that cast on edge a little better. Mine is not twisted. Everything is good, so I could continue to work in the round. But if you did notice a twist, and I'm just going to put one in here to show you. Okay, so now my stitches go nice and evenly across here, but right here they're twisted across that third needle. So you can pop that twist into the little bit of yarn that's joining these two rounds together. Just straighten everything out, wrap that twist into that join there, and continue knitting. And you will never notice an extra twist or an extra untwist in that piece of yarn. Everything's going to be uh, peachy as you go along. You just go ahead and make that first stitch and away you go. So you have an opportunity to undo a twist at the beginning of the round if you're working on that in the round on double pointed needles, two circulars, or one long circular for magic loop. Doesn't matter how you're working in the round. At the end of the first round, you can put a twist into that little joining yarn between the stitches and all will be well.